Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. Quite an exciting day uh, and video, this one. We're doing an event forecast uh, for the first time in absolutely ages, certainly but it's not for a bank holiday anyway. So uh, we are doing a forecast for Camp Festival, which will be taking place at uh, Lulworth Castle at Wareham in Dorset from Thursday the 29th of July till Sunday the 1st of August. It's within the extended GFS time frame. And, uh, uh, yeah, I shall get on that for you in a second. Somebody's asked me to have a look. And uh, this is one of the events that we have always, uh, you know, looked at on the channel. But we have not done an events forecast that's not for a bank holiday. That's sort of like a festival or something. We have not done one since 2019, I think, because of the, uh, you know, COVID-19 and lockdown and so on. So it's been a very, very long time uh, coming. So it's qu I'm quite excited to be doing this because I love doing, like, the festival, uh, you know, festival, Glass and Brie Leeds. Uh, Reading, Camp Festival, all, all of those. I love doing them for people. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, people are always so uh, appreciative to, to, to see these forecasts when they're going to these events. So so I love it. And I've missed not being able to do it. So I, I'm very pleased to be able to uh, start uh, doing one or two uh, events for everybody uh, now. So I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just say that the first beer release today was our uh, 7 a.m. forecast. We've, we've uh, also got 10 to 14 day coming up for you uh, later on this afternoon as well. We'll have a great feature. So keep checking back the channel for the updates. Like, share, subscribe, and enjoy the content at the moment. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. So we're on the Camp Festival uh, website. There it is, 29th of July to 1st of August, Lulworth Castle in Dorset. Um, so so yeah, there it is. The event is going to be happening. It's, it's going to be done safely, of course, but the event will be taking place. And uh, and so here we go. Let's, let's do it. You can find the link to Camp Festival website uh, in the description with the video. Now, I'm going to start because we uh, with the event scorecard, particularly for festivals, we usually start a couple of days earlier than, the, than when, you know, day one of the event. Um, due to that, a lot of people like to go early, pitch up their tent and soak up the atmosphere. That's particularly true for Glastonbury, of course. I had a look at, like, the information with Camp Festival. I don't think they're going to be opening their gates until the day of the event on Thursday. Um, Thursday, the 29th of July. So if I'm starting this on Tuesday, I don't think you'll be able to go until, you know, the day of the event. Obviously, these events have got to be done safely and so on so i don't think they'll be opening it until day one uh of, of of the event itself on the 29th but i will start off a couple of days early just to sort of set see what's going on with this gfs run um for this period so we're beginning on the 27th of july we're under a little, little, little bit of a transient ridge of high pressure there uh, across the country, a nice uh, sort of transit ratio resource. There is low pressure though out in the Atlantic. Upper air temperatures look quite warm there on the 27th of July. I'll just say this is all very extended range stuff, so so it is in the, in the unreliable time frame of the GFS uh, model. So don't take it too literally, what you see here. We're just looking for trends, really, to get a little bit closer. Uh, because we're on a transient ridge, it's a mostly dry day uh, being forecast there, but there is an area of wet weather moving in off the Atlantic in towards, the, in towards Ireland and Western Scotland. And it's a pretty warm day as well, temperature into uh, like 20, 21 degrees down here uh, in uh, Dorset on the Jurassic coast so uh, it's not bad uh, 70 Fahrenheit it is about average uh, for the time of the year. Actually, it's probably a little bit below par for late July, but it'll feel warm enough in the sunshine. Uh, right, we go through to Wednesday, uh, 28th of July, and uh, that transit ridge is being flattened off as this low pressure sort of comes in from off the Atlantic. Our rare temperatures still look quite warm, especially in the south, but there is a band of showery rain being forecast to push across the country. So that could bring some wet weather to, uh, to Camp Festival site, I suppose. Uh, and because there's a band of rain pushed across the country, temperatures are lower as well. We've dropped down into the mid to upper teen Celsius where we've got that uh, wet weather. Right, so uh, that's set the scene for the couple of days before the event. Let's get on to day one of Camp Festival then. This is Thursday, 29th of July. Uh, so we've still got a bit of a trough within the 500 millibar flow here. It's not an airy flow pressure, but there is a trough sort of over uh, the country. Upper air temperatures look quite warm down in the south uh, of the country. There is showery rain across southern and eastern areas, however... For Camp Bessel, well, I suspect it's a drying up day in Dorset, so it probably starts off with some shade rain 
and then it dries up uh, as the day progresses. Uh, temperatures, again, around 21, 22 degrees. General rule of thumb with these, you can add on a couple of degrees, so you're probably getting up to around 23, 24. I would have thought there in Dorset, which is around mid-70s Fahrenheit, will feel uh, quite pleasant. Day two of Camp Festival will be Friday the 30th of July. We are then in a showery sort of uh, northwesterly type flow of an area of low pressure to the north of Scotland. As we bring in the wind from the northwest, the upper air temperatures are starting to lower uh, a little bit. So it begins to turn a bit cooler. There's quite a bit of dry weather being signalled here, but maybe the chance of a few showers coming through on that northwest. But I think, you know, generally uh, northwest is in a bad wind direction uh, for s the south coast because uh, you are pretty well sheltered from that. So I suspect there's probably quite a bit of dry weather there. Temperatures have lowered by a couple of degrees due to that northwesterly wind. Nevertheless, it would still be pleasantly warm up around 20, 21 degrees. Add on a couple of degrees at 22 or 23. So really not too bad. Uh, a mainly fine and reasonably warm day there, albeit with a cooler northwesterly wind. Day three of Camp Festival will be Saturday the 31st of July when uh, we bring a new area of low pressure into Scotland. However, for southern parts of England, it looks like uh, we're still more or less under something of a transient uh, ridge or trying to get under a transient ridge. Up rare temperatures have, <coughs> excuse me, up rare temperatures have lowered a little bit more. There's rain in the north, but for England and Wales, it's mostly dry, and there will be plenty of sunny spells coming through as well. Temperatures, again, edged down by a degree or two. But even so, we're not bad. We're up to around 19 or 20, add a couple of degrees on, probably up to around 21 or 22 uh, degrees. And, of course, in the sunshine, because it's late July, it will feel relatively warm and pleasant. And then the final day of Camp Festival will be Sunday the 1st of August as that area of low pressure exit, exits away from Scotland into the North Sea. Again, we get a push of northwest winds. There's probably a cold from moving southwards and eastwards across the country. Upper air temperatures look relatively cool, really, for the start of August. Uh, there is showery rain around. Most of it is in the north, though. Again, down in the south, on the south coast, it does not look too bad at all mainly dry down on the south coast temperatures again edged down by another degree or so so the mile is signaling around 18 degrees you can probably lift that up to 21 maybe 22 so overall not bad uh to start us off with this camp festival update there's quite a lot of dry weather it's been single there uh, for southern England it's not a particularly settled pattern so showery bursts showery outbreaks can be expected but certainly no sign of a dreaded deluge no sign of a dreaded washout uh, a reasonable amount of dry weather temperatures you know a little bit on the cool side probably for for late july end of july early august but in in the sunshine on the south coast it won't feel too bad if that's how it transpires the big caveat of course is that this is all very extended rain stuff it's a long way off so it's in the unreliable time frame of a gfs and it's uh, and it's ensembles and whatnot so, uh, we, you know, we, we just look for trends when we're this far out, really. And I shall probably do another update for you in a couple of days' time and just see, you know, uh, what, what's happening uh, there, whether this uh, sort of pattern is maintained or, or not. Because it's a bit of a mobile pattern, there is a chance that this could deteriorate. But then again, on the other side, uh, there is a chance that it might not be even as, uh, as mixed as this is showing, and uh, high pressure might have more influences. So we need to wait a little bit longer to be sure. Right, so that's it then. What a what a video. First sort of events video that we've done on the channel for such a long time. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, you know, to Camp Festival for giving me uh, the opportunity to be able to do this uh, video for everyone. Uh, right then, so uh, we're going to be back later on 10 to 14. Dan will include red will include all our regular videos if you've enjoyed this and want to see more uh, events forecasts on the channel i've even got green man and lisa redding coming up later on in uh, the summer so if you want to see more then uh please let me know in the comments like the video as well thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that and for this first uh forecast for camp festival that's all for now and thanks for watching